it's the material that's actually the, recycled. The, I mean, overall, we're saying the, that we don't think over the 20 years government has done enough to get a really good understanding of whether this scheme is making a difference. Under the existing scheme, more than 7,000 waste firms yeah, should be monitored over increasing amounts okay. being sent to countries including Turkey, okay. Malaysia okay. and Poland. Okay. But the Environment Agency are being criticised for failing to make enough checks. In a mm. statement, DEFRA said, we don't recycle mm. enough waste and we export too much of it. That's why we have already committed to overhaul the system. It is really depressing. I think we should still keep recycling. What we must do, though, is start investing in better recycling facilities in this country rather than sending it overseas and have somebody else deal with it. But any future changes won't affect the mountains of plastic already dumped abroad after years of effort and goodwill by people here at home. Miranda Shunkin, ITV News. This. Police in Toronto's, this. Toronto say they're Don't. not ruling out terrorism after a shooting this. of two people yeah, yeah. and 13 yeah, yeah. others injured. Witnesses said they heard 20 to 30 shots fired during the shooting last night. The gunman was killed in a shootout with police. Next, it's lunchtime. Turning 40 is a milestone in anyone's life. But for Louise Brown, her birthday this Wednesday has added significance. In 1978, Louise became the first person in the world to be born through IVF in the 40 years since her birth. Millions more babies have been born Typical. using the treatment. I'd like to be the first. Um, I just, it's just amazing. I think everybody should this. be entitled to it and um, to be able to have a chance. NHS guidelines say women in England go. and Scotland struggling to.